All right, hi everyone. We are in maternal massage and this is semi-reclining. We'll go through the sequence kind of fast since it's mostly like supine. But we'll go through in segments, upper body first. Just like with a, a normal supine client, you can start with your centering. You can do scalp massage. There's no contraindications here in this area. So you can do your normal face and scalp sequence and I'll demonstrate some of those here. Your course packet does list specifically a myofascial technique on the neck, so you'll see me do that in a minute, and I haven't put on any lotion yet. So here's the myofascial technique. I'm sinking in just below the ears without lotion and using like three fingers. Once you sink in, then you imagine dragging the tissue down toward the shoulders with you. It's a really slow movement and you're not trying to do deep work here because it's you're working with a superficial fascia. So just a nice, slow, I'm probably at level two, two and a half pressure dragging down. And because it's myofascial, you can work in all directions. You could do it in reverse too. So now I'll finally apply lotion. And again, this is not in real time. Um, probably this area would take you maybe 10 minutes to do in a session. Timing wise, you're looking at 30 minutes for the semi reclining and then 15 minutes on each side. Generally, that's your, your starting point. Your course packet talks about some different techniques you can do at the neck. Again, these are just like your normal supine. You can do some circular friction. You can do fist glides at the upper traps, whatever you feel like your client likes or needs. After you've done uh, face, scalp, neck, you can move to upper pecs. And the only thing here with maternal infant massage is to be careful um, no matter what trimester they're in you'll be careful of the breast tissue. Earlier in the pregnancy, it's just plain sore, it's tender. Later in the pregnancy, they're starting to develop their milk supply. So just stick up near the uh, collarbone, near the clavicle, to do your pec work. After that section, we'll move to the side and do some work underneath the shoulder blade. And just like when your client is supine, you'll be reaching underneath all the way to the lamina groove, hooking your fingers and then dragging out. And you can start at the bottom of the shoulder blade, drag out, and then do several passes as you move up toward the top of the shoulder blade. And I know you can't see my stance here, but I'm in a lunge. My hips are facing the client's head. The non-working hand is just at the front of the shoulder. And then this isn't in the course packet, but you can slide in the massage hug, which feels lovely. 